What's up y'all, it's Shuffle. My girlfriend calls this my YouTube voice, so I guess that's what it is. But we're playing more Circus today, and we're gonna be using this team here, but before we get started, we have to do some housekeeping. Uh, so whenever I talk about meta things or what's good, treat it as kind of like a snapshot in time. Because right now the game is new, or at least the mode is new, so everything is fresh, people are trying things, and what's good one day may not be good the next day. So for instance, stress teams, Right now, they were good for a few days, and I've been fortunate enough to have some very high-ranked people comment on my videos or join my Discord, so I've talked to some players in Darkest. There's one player I was talking to last night who's Darkest 1. I've talked to some champion players, and then I'm in Veteran. I've talked to some other Veteran players, and then I've watched videos and stuff of other people, and I've seen Stress do well. Stress is easy to play, so... What I've been hearing about over the last couple days is people are finding counters to stress. That's why if you watched the end of my last video, I talked about Mark Teams being a good counter. And then when I was talking to this person who was in a Darkest One, they were telling me that the meta at the top is actually pretty varied. There is stress, but people are doing well with a lot of things. So whenever I talk about these things, treat it as a snapshot in time, especially if like, you know, someone figures out a solid counter or something. And then you're watching a video that was posted on May 30th and it's like June 4th, or whenever this comes up, and people jump in and go, actually, this isn't even that good anymore. Well, it's like, yeah, you know, at the time, at the time, it was actually kind of good. So things are changing. I would like to be able to talk about a meta game at some point, but, you know, any competitive game, whenever there's new stuff or a new patch, it takes a minute for the meta stuff to settle. I would like it if everything was viable, because then it has the healthiest competitive aspect, but in terms of stress, I've been kind of straying away from it, even though I want to play it. For a few reasons, I think it's not very enticing to watch, you know, just like watching Yop or Accusations and Bellow for, you know, eight turns until everyone heart attacks is kind of whatever. You know, there's not much thought in it, it's just you run the same strat against every team. So, the purpose of these videos is to try other stuff and hopefully have some fun doing it. With that said, the channel is not just going to be pumping these out every day. Like, I am working on some side projects. I've got the, the modded playthrough, which I'm hoping the saves aren't breaking. And then also, I'm working on a couple different guides. Like, for the vanilla game, I have a flagellant guide coming. But then also, when I feel a little more comfortable, I'll start doing some content on the circus, like some guide stuff, uh, or... Maybe an early tier list. I've been dropping tier lists in my Discord every night, or almost every night, and I've been talking to people, and we've been, like, hammering it out. So I think I think we'll have a pretty healthy one soon for the early state of the game, so soon TM. And then also, I want to make an actual video just talking about stress specifically, and uh, why it's good and bad for this game mode. So be on the lookout for those. I'm scripting them out. And let's just start playing some Circus. That's why most of you are probably here. Just watch this. Watch me play people. And then some of the people I play against just drop in the comments. Like, I played you. It's like, oh my god. It's amazing. Because it is. You know? It's... However many people are playing this game, it's kind of crazy to think about that. Like, one of my videos getting a couple thousand views. That someone I played is one of those couple thousand. go, oh, hey, I played you. It was a good game. It's like, yeah. It was. Alright, so let's start talking about the team here. Flagellant, I'm not quite sure what to use in terms of trinkets and stuff, so we're going to be testing stuff out. I think Reclaim should just always be on, because I don't think enough people use this. I've slapped Flagellants to the back, or pulled Flagellants, or pulled people in front of Flagellants, and they're just sitting in rank 3, and they have like these two, Redeem and Exsanguinate, and they're not low hit points, so they just sit there. And that's kind of bad. So, we're gonna use Reclaim. Alright, sorry about that, my cat likes to show up when I start talking and recording. For some reason, he can just sleep in any other part of the... the residence, any other room, or what have you. Or even in my room, who knows, but he'll just be asleep and then the moment I start recording... Like, he knows when I'm recording. I can just be... talking to myself, or I could be on the phone, or something, and he just... Just, he just doesn't care. And then the moment the microphone is out, like, he knows what the YouTube voice is, and he just shows up, and he's like, Pet me? Food? Hey. And then if I turn around and give him some attention or tell him to get the hell out, he just ignores me. 
standard cat stuff. Yeah, so the Flagellant, I've had some trouble putting together kind of his role, because it's like, I can use this bleed damage stuff here, which is really nice, get some extra accuracy, get like plus 8% crit if they're bleeding total. And then also Stress Delt, so the Punish and the Reign of Sorrows does really well. And then bonus bleed skill on top, which is kind of nice. I thought about using Flagellant with the Bugle, because we have some other form of stress healing, so I could use the Bugle plus some stress reduction. I don't know what the trinkets look like offhand. So he can't Virtue, so we wouldn't use this, but something like this, right? Numbing Essence. And uh, that way, when you use Endure, you're actually taking off quite a bit. So it's like, you have 45 stress heal from the Bugle, and then you have, uh, what does that come out to? Like, 13, I think, 13, 14, something like that. Stress coming in from Endure. And then you have someone else that can cure stress, for instance. So we're going to try this. This may go after the first game. But you see here, being able to do that probably keeps some stress down. I was talking to, like I said, someone that's in Darkest One, and they said that stress heals aren't amazing, but being able to slow down stress teams by a couple turns is actually very impactful. So that's something to consider. So this could actually be a support setup and then use some other stuff here, but we're just going to roll with something easy to use right now. Bounty Hunter, I think, is just nuts. I mean, everyone's talking about finish him. This is just an amazing move. Like, this is almost guaranteed dead, especially if you have the finisher. Because I don't know if there's a minimum death blow resist chance, but this makes it effectively zero if you can hit them. So that's really good. We have two marks. One of these could probably go, but I think come hither if they're not ready for it, it's just too disrupting to ignore. Like, it's just, it's good, and it marks, and it pulls someone into, hopefully rank two, where we can shoot them with our two snipers, or if we pull someone to rank one, it's not the end of the world. Uh, but otherwise, we have another mark for non-movement purposes. So if we run into Man at Arms, for instance, instead of him spamming Bellow every turn, I want to be able to mark a couple people, and if I have two marks going, then Man-at-Arms has to make choices on who he's guarding. Or he just has to guard one and then try and bellow me down. But with two snipers, I'm going to get through uh, that person, even with the bellow damage cut. It's worth noting we probably could take some debuff resist. Because these two are very weak at it. Now that I think about it. Because I'm using some anti-movement here, which... Like, if they want to try and pull her, go ahead. This one, like I said, this might go, but otherwise... Then we have Mark for Death. This is more for the Death Blow Resist uh, penetration or whatever than anything else, besides being able to mark people wherever they're at. That's why we have the Eerie Eye and the extra accuracy, so... If someone is dying, we have a pretty solid chance, like a 120 chance, to stick the Death Blow pen. So this should make kills very easy to pick up. Especially if they're marked. The other thing too is the ignore stealth is nice. Stealth isn't that common, but just being able to get past stealth is good. Like if a grave robber shadow fades, I can pull her with come hither. I can't really do much, because I don't have uppercut, but like you get Stygian Jester. That'd be pretty nice to do. Then we have the finisher just because it's good. And Caltrops is, I think, one of the most interesting changes to Circus. So... First of all, we get the synergy with the Flagellant, especially on like turn one, if we want to go that way. And then we have a decent stress strategy, because we have the plus 5%, and then we have the plus 25, so plus 30% on top of that, which comes out to about 17, 17, 18 stress. And so with Caltrops, uh, I hate where I live. There's just so much ambient noise, so I hope none of it bleeds through, but I apologize if it does. But yeah, Caltrops... It's interesting because it actually deals damage, right? You see the 10% total damage that it deals, 9% crit's pretty solid. But the things that stick out to me are not just the bleed, which has a mega high chance for pretty much the entire fight, unless they can cure it. It's the 200 base accuracy and the fact it hits all four people. So you could Caltrops turn one and just get all the juicy effects from there. But if they have like a super squishy team and like, they're depending on guards, you could use Caltrops to try and kill someone. Because it does damage, 
So even if they get guarded, you're cleaving the entire team. And it's got 200 accuracy, so no one's dodging it. So if they get guarded and if they have high dodge, you can still hit them and potentially get a kill, especially with the finisher. So I think Caltrops is probably the hardest move to use for Bounty Hunter. But it has more uses than meets the eye, if I may say so. The Musketeer, I'm going to try and get through this a little quicker because I've been talking for a couple minutes here. Uh, we just have damage and the stress heal because she can use ranging shot anywhere and this heals stress at a pretty good uh, amount or chance I should say and then minus stress taken is pretty nice D stealth is good and the bonus accuracy is also nice so we have an effective stress healer and then we have patch up just because extra healing is never bad buckshot in case they pull us aim shot for obvious reasons same thing we have sniper shot for obvious reasons we have bolas for obvious reasons we have Bandage for obvious reasons, and then it's the same lead as the Musketeer. I think both of these moves are good in their own way. And marks and debuffs, I'm not so worried about, but the... I mean, debuff on, like, Bellow is bad, but the stuns, too. Being able to clear stun and daze, for instance, the Flagellant dazes himself. And we have a way to get past it. This move can be dodged, which I didn't know. I had that happen in... Uh, one of my videos recently where I was using Grave Robber, she dodged the flare. And I think I killed him for it, which I felt really bad. So, yeah. And then we have the move resist, so they don't pull us. So we're just sitting at 80% uh, chance. Most people don't seem to run the movement things. Like, I, I, see, I do see it, but not as often as I thought I would. And then if for some reason the Arbalest gets to hit a mark target for free uh, at the start of the turn, then we're going to get a fat 10% damage bonus. So that's the team. Oh, so the other thing too is we're going to be relying on our snipers to kill people. Since they can move back, they can fix all this positioning. So if someone like double pulls me into flagellant, I can just do to like a buckshot or something and get back. Uh, the way to actually beat that would be to wait till like the musketeer goes and then pull her. And then, like, next turn, pull Bounty Hunter or something, or pull Bounty Hunter first, I don't know. Like, you can shuffle it around. But the the team here is going to try and kill two people in the back, maybe whoever's in rank two as well, as quickly as possible, uh, because of the marks, and finish him. And then afterwards, when we transition to killing the person in rank one, we have some really strong heals and recovery moves, and we just have a lot of stress coming out of the Flagellant. We have some very high raw damage coming out of the Bounty Hunter. And then we have two healers with uh, two support moves and Bola. Like, we can rotate Bola and Buckshot between these two if we need to do more damage. So, this team has some interesting play. The Ringmaster demands a challenger. I hope it does okay. I'm sorry for the lengthy explanation. We also changed our banner today. I was able to connect my... Like my first file that has everything done to uh, Butcher Circus, and so I got a lot of the stuff that I was missing, which is kind of nice. The rabble oh, there it is. To the spilling of blood. So the idea for our banner is the is Wilbur sits on the skull throne. So we have undead. Ah, oh, I was showing it off. This looks like it could be a stress team. Going second isn't too bad. I think the issue with the stress teams is man at arms. Like, Bell is just too efficient of a move. Suffer. Oh, take Mark. Interesting. So, Stygian's Curse Heal. I'm. I'm actually going to pull this. He has a finisher? Are you kidding me? For what? The weakening curse? Hopefully this baits him into using... Oh my god. This is why... This is why this is an issue. Like, the, the defining moment was when... I talked to... Or I got a comment on one of my videos. And the person said that uh, there was a game I would have lost in like one of my sets if they had used Bellow turn one. 
like, Man-at-Arms is skipping bolster, Man-at-Arms is skipping guarding, Man-at-Arms is just going, yeah, it's time for some, uh, <laughs> you know, I should have, I should use the Flagellant there. Flagellant would have put him to death door. Let's see if he heals himself. It's my Reign of Stars chance. Lead resists very high. Okay. Yeah, that should have been a punish to uh, put him down to death store potentially. But then he might heal himself with something. But yeah, just when Man at Arm's best turn is always Bellow, and there's just nothing for him to do. Like, there's no point to him using guard, bolster anymore. It's like, this is a serious issue. So he took the mark. I'm not concerned about the mark anymore. And so if he holy lances, or if he guards, like if he guards, he's not bellowing me. No. Which means now I can focus on someone else. So, actually, we get two shots to kill him here. And he has no movement. Oh, that's right. Alright, so that was a mistake. I completely... <laughs> it's been a long time since I had to do that. So, uh... Yeah, that was a mistake. That was a pretty big mistake, actually. I should have just marked and shot. We'll see what happens here. Oh, crit. Unbalanced. Woo! Now we're gonna go for the Caltrops, actually. We're gonna go for the Caltrops tonight. This is exactly where we said we wanted it. And it worked. That felt really good. Despite my horrific accident right there. <laughs> my horrific misplay. We got somewhat rewarded with our planning ahead. So this is actually good. I don't want a bull is here. Because I don't want to push Crusader back and then let Man or Flagellant get turns again. Look at no one uses Reclaim. No one. Okay, right, we got a crit too, so that's actually very nice. Very high stress damage because of the Caltrops. I think the Suffer was pretty heads up of uh, this person to use. It's just the 50 50 coming in through Caltrops was a. Uh, very impactful. And also we got past one turn of getting bellowed, which is nice. And this is what we said we're gonna do. We're gonna clear debuffs. Oh, I have to hit that one. Ooh, boy. Alright. She could have healed herself, but it was pretty nice. This team is surprisingly effective right now. <laughs> it's only been one game. Let's see. Man Arms has a bunch of prot. Got 50 prot. It's gonna take a while to get through them, but we can bleed them. I think it was max damage on both. <laughs> that was pretty strong. So I don't want to set up the. Like, even if he takes the, the mark, it's fine. Because all my damage is back up. And then, yeah, he doesn't get to move. He does take the bleed, though. Which is actually very relevant. And then, uh... He's gonna go first next turn. I think he just shoot. I mean, of course I shoot, but like, who do I shoot? Because I could try and double tap the... Oh wait, he's got a ton of... Oh, that was lucky. I do have boosted bleed chance, but that was, uh, that was very lucky. Yeah, so he can guard, but I want to get as much damage in as possible. And I could try and burst down the Flagellant, because he's going to most likely guard here. And then that way... I'm going to wait for the Flagellant turn, 
And after the flagellant turn, I'm going to try and burn him down. He's going for the... God dang, man. Like, we punished that, right? Let me just shoot him. 7 to 12. Alright, not bad. He's bleeding for 6. So he has to take the flagellant turn or the crusader turn here. And he didn't guard, so I can actually kill this dude. Like, I just need to save my finisher. I would like to... Yeah, I would like to use... Oh, oh that's big. I might have flicked. Very close. So, let's see. He's going to go down to 15. That should be enough for a, a reclaim. So, we're going to take this turn here. Or, uh, redeem, I should say. Oh, it did too! He resisted. That's, that's actually very bad. So, we'll see what happens. That might be enough for redeem. No, it's not. Okay. So we're gonna shoot to death store him, and then we're gonna use finisher As or finish him to ebbs, do it. Terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. Man. Man, oh man. Oh, he couldn't use redeem. He's probably like one hit point off. Oh, that's sad. I feel for you. I feel for you. That's good to know. So Flagellant at 36 hit points, 14 is the 40% cutoff. Confusion. Nerves. So minus 40% damage. Panic. We got two afflictions. Frustration. We got a lot of fraud. And fury. More destructive. Uh, so I think we have to kill Flagellant next. Was it worth going for that kill? I think it was. So, this way... Oh, that was big. I was like, yeah, if you want to, you can take, uh... You can put some damage here, but you don't have any damage. Like, what are you gonna do, redeem? And now, the true test. Hold redeem, fast. and then I can double tap him. Fire. Yeah. I'm going to try and double tap him and uh, finish this here. Let's see, at 18. It might be better to just hit him twice. Let's see. What do we have? Oh, I can't shoot him there. Oh, that's not good. So we're going to... i heal... So, to kill the rank one person, we're going to start doing this. Start using our, uh, that's a pretty solid stress heal. Let's see. Do you just try and kill the man at arms? Throw all that prot? Because the corpses are going away. Yeah, let's just go for it. Because this way he doesn't bellow us next turn. Which I would still bellow us next turn. <laughs> well, he, he may still bellow. But I should be able to stress heal through this. Oh, he is going to do it. Okay. So I'm going to... Like, that was kind of a bait. How much can I shoot him for? Three to six? I'm not even doing it. I'm going to try and bleed him out. Actually, I should have waited. Because what if he attacks me here? Yeah, I should have waited for that so I can get my, my bleed. My bleed heal. Crit me. I got mega punished. The end approaches. 
Bloop. Did that not stress heal anyone? Does it only do the stress heal one time? Or did I just really <laughs> miss 415s? I don't know. Get some bleeds going. Injury Boom back up. Despondence. If we afflict them, we're in good shape. Or cowardice. Just yank him up. Get some damage. Oh, by that I mean absolutely zero damage. <sighs> what we kind of heads up is to move the man at arms forward a space. Let's see if he reposts me here. Yeah, it does. Death Can you stop critting me? For the slightest like, lapse in please? Can you just not do that? I'm gonna wait for the flagellant turn again before I do that. The stress. Well At least we could. Can he stop? Oh my god! <laughs> he just doesn't want to go down. The crits are too good. Sorry, he activated our uh, redeem. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. So he can redeem for low HP, and then he's just out of heals. He doesn't have Exsanguinate. No, he doesn't. He's going for that. Okay, I have two cleaves, dude. I'm also afflicted. Let's see. Those who covered injury find oh, she went up too. Oh, that's okay. Okay. Um... This is actually a weird puzzle. Like, do I just take the damage? I think I do. This isn't going to kill me. Actually, it is going to put me to, to death's door. I'm going to try this one more time. Does this not work? There it goes. Okay. Those turns are pretty easy. It's just guard and uh, that. I'm very afraid of him, like, reposting me to, like, nothing. I want to get my health up. Let's see. This is two to three. This is... I think we need to go for the... We're just going to hit mark on this. Actually, I can just start spam marking him to lower his death lowers this. That'd actually be better, because I don't think he can repost that. So we're going to just try and afflict the man-at-arms. And maybe hard attack him, because I think we can outlast this. We have two healers. A, no, we have three healers and a stress healer. And I have one person that can cure bleed. So. That's fine. So I'm going to take this turn. Bleed. He's got one more turn of repost. Is he bellow? Does he ever bolster? He's never used. He's never gonna use it. I almost disagree with that, but it's fine. This prot's already to like ridiculous levels. I'm not getting through that. So, hmm. Back now. Keeping people alive. I think this is how we do it. This is going to be a really just stalled out grind game. So I apologize, but this is uh, this is how we're getting through this. Although all these afflictions do suck. I'm going to keep doing this. I hit everyone? Yep. So, if he wants to go on the offense to try and stress me, uh, he could probably do it. But I just want to afflict him and then hard attack him and then it's over, so. If we need to, maybe I'll fast forward. Just because it's going to be this for <laughs> probably the next 10 minutes. As 
the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. This expedition at least promises success. Oh, I didn't think I'd get the MVP achievement, but apparently we did. Yeah, like I said, that was going to take an extra 10 minutes because I was just... Dude, just would not die. <laughs> It feels. I don't think I need any changes. And I think the way this works is it's a 15% chance to hit everyone, or miss everyone. Because I missed it again, and just missed everyone, so. I could see it being a 15% chance to just fail entirely. Oh man, we made a couple misplays, but we got out of there. And Bounty Hunter's showing his strength right there, with how effectively he was killing everything. That finish, it was just a great move. I was actually a little irritated too. I think my flagellant just, uh, he death blowed himself because of the affliction. I was like, dude, come on. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens with the next stuff. I'm gonna have to trim that thing down. It's gonna be like a, I don't know, probably like a 15 minute fight. I mean, it's that point. Yeah, okay, we're done. This is a Mark Synergy team. We're going second. I think going second's actually okay against Mark just because we get um, all the bonus dodge. But we have no guards, so we really have to kill someone before they kill us. And you stigeons. That's fine. And it got the pull though? Come on, man! Like, you didn't even think about it! Oh, he's got move chance. Okay, that's fine. I was like, holy crap. So we're gonna save. Our, uh... We're gonna save our mark here. I kind of want the Houndmaster to go if possible before I do it. That's also fine. Look at that, now my team's in the right position. Oh, we got double crits. Lucky. Oh, snap. I didn't know that was possible. That's actually kind of dangerous. You guard, right? You don't? You don't guard? Um... I should get the coat of arms. I think you go for this. Or the cloak and dagger, not coat of arms. I think I'm gonna kill the Houndmaster first, actually. Oh, oh, that, that, uh, that going first. The resolve is broken. Oh. Well, you have won. A cacophony of bloodthirsty delight. Praise well earned. You only get one point for winning now. Arbalist. Oh, it's here! Okay. And the armor pen. These both would have been good. I think... I think we can switch the Arbalest one. I don't want the... Uh, the Musketeer one. Because she has a specific job, but... The... I get 7 crit and the armor pen. Because, like, I have a movement skill. So it's like, why... Why have move resist when we have a movement skill? Especially when we lose the 45% the chance, or the 20% chance, like three times, if you've seen my other videos. <laughs> so, uh, movement resist just doesn't matter. It's binary, it's 50-50. I want one good game with this team. But I also have other stuff to work on, so I can't play this for like, you know, two hours. Yup, breakthrough, so movement resistant, but really just only one character. Vestal Chan with the backline setup. I don't know why people keep running this. Plague Doctor with a Blight setup. Stun, I think that's a good opener. 
I think it's a 45% chance. Still got some. And actually, Bounty Hunter, I guess, is the engine because that, uh... Let's see. I could just double tap the... The Plague Doctor here. Like, even without the, uh... What you call it? The... The mark. She's so squishy. And I want to get the bleed up in case they take Plague Doctor's turn first. Which means they could blinding gas me. But if they blinding gas me, then I'm going to use the ranging shot from Musketeer. And then I'm going to start shooting. Okay. I'm just going to take my shots now. So she's going to be low, and he's going first, so he has to direct heal next turn, or else Plague Doctor's dead. Alright. So we're going to let her do some damage here. I, I should have took, um, no, 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 that was right. I was going to say, I should have probably took his turn, so he doesn't take this Blight damage from Noxious Blast, because that's what you're doing, right? Yeah. But then, that would have been a death blow check, and I don't want that. So, this isn't good, actually. I should have took his turn much earlier. But we're also, we're one hit point, so that's actually good. That's very relevant right now. Does he just, yeah, I was going to say, do you just go for it? I really wish I had the... On the brink, facing the abyss. Um... The Musketeer Trinket that cured Blight with her patch-up. Oh, healing received. I'm just gonna take it. Fortune. Just keep dumping heals into this person. He's choosing not to heal, so I'm hoping that my choice of healing is going to be relevant. And I'm really wishing I had a guard on this team now. But this is a lot of just uh, frontline dump damage. And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. So I need to. I need to keep him alive, and hopefully he takes Hellion's turn. Okay, good. Because him taking Hellion's turn means I can pull uh, Plague Doctor and not get killed. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. So I don't have to worry about it. He doesn't have incision, so. Now we have the mark. Now she's bleeding out. Only did, only did four damage. I thought I did five. Yeah. And then I do this. Since I'm going second, I'm not going to get a death door proc here. I'm not going to get a chance to kill. So if he chooses to try and one in twenty-five or one in four the judgment, oh yeah, not the judgment, just this, right? Dead. Oh God, going second is so bad. Going second is so terrible. I might have just lost. Like, I might have just lost because I went second. And I just couldn't keep him alive through bombing heals on him. Just, like, literally just because I went second. Hmm. We can still do this. The Leper's in rank three. He can't risk a stun here, and he's also marked. I could double tap him. I'm gonna take the herbalist turn first because she has the bigger crit modifier. Oh, are you joking? I have never needed a crit more than this right now. Hmm. That is so. Un and he's gonna live through. Like, if he takes his turn, he's not dying, so. 
Oh man, he's gonna be at one hit point. Let's see if he sees it. Yeah, he does. So we're gonna try and hit a move here. No, we didn't get the one we wanted. Man, I I think I lost like everything I needed to to, <laughs> to lose to lose this. So we didn't get to go first, which set us back very far. We like our damage lined up. The plague doctor hit one hit point two times, and then uh, what's the chance here? Thirty doesn't even have the finisher. So basically won the fifty fifty to death blow me too. It was a fit. It was a fifty five percent chance, and uh, like that's it. We're gonna stack bleed because I do still have the. Um, I still have the mark for one more turn. Actually, no, the mark's gone. That sucks. But we have a lot of bleed, or... Oh yeah, and then the crit heal off the, the Vestal. Like, I could have I could have easily killed through, um... The sniper shot mark, if they didn't get that. So, this might be over. I might just quit this. I'm definitely quitting this. And so, I'm gonna just run another one, because that game's over. Like, I'm not gonna... With those crits and stuff, I'm not getting through that. And I'd rather just take this time to try and get one more game. I'm trying to think, did he crit my, uh... Maybe we need a mark. Uh, I feel like I need a second mark. But I don't know what to get rid of. Like, this is to get rid of all the stun and shenanigans. I think I could have did this turn one. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I should have flared the stun off the bounty hunter. I don't know. I'll think about it later. I might need a second mark. Or like an occultist or something. I think those uh those double crit heals for like 40 were um some good salt in the wound right there. I stand by this team though, I think it's actually okay, it's just when uh they just have like really high direct damage and just dump it into your um What is it dump it into your uh your team engine on turn one, it's pretty hard to deal with. Like the stun and then death door on like turn one for Bounty Hunter was kind of garbage. Does have finale, I like that setup. Has a lot of bonus damage. Has move resist, I'm not. So I could go for it, it's still 50-50. Cause I don't think I move pull on him. We're gonna try and dumpster there. He's got the finisher and the pull. So we're gonna try and dumpster this. He's gonna hug me, like turn one. Yeah. Which is fine. I don't know if we take this turn yet. Back now. What do we do? Do we mark and just try and kill this dude? I think so. That leper's gonna hurt me in a second here. I, like, with how the last game went, this leper's just gonna crit me. I think it's more for the finale buff, because I don't, I don't have a dodge setup or anything like that, so... We're going to... We're gonna save this turn. That just made it worse, because he can chop me, and if he gets a crit, he's just gonna finale me. Revenge? I will take the low tempo turn. I will definitely take the low tempo turn. I think we actually, I think we go for it, the 
You can still stun. But now I can just load into this, uh... I can load into this Vestal. Well, 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 it would appear that the boon is flummoxed. That, the stuns on the, the bounty hunter are very strong. Stun. Also, that's the other 50-50 I lost two times now. So part of me wants, let's see, 12 to 21, 17 to 30. Because I kind of want to kill their bounty hunter, but Vestal is just too threatening. If he Dirk stabs to, yeah, fix. Can we not? Can we not get the crits? They haven't taken their turn, so this bleed's gonna be very. Oh, she resisted? Oh, I needed that bleed. I needed it desperately. So if he pulls my Arbalest. <sighs> Let's see. I kind of want to leave her up here. The reveling throne demands its portion. The mark's gone. There it is. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. And so if he pulls me, let's see what he does. So I want both my snipers in the back. You hit for a lot. I'm gonna take this turn. Maybe I should have. Maybe I should have pulled myself back. Does he come hit? Oh, he just moves. Nice. Okay. Hopefully we get the jester out of the. Come on, man. Come on, man. I think it was a 75. Yeah, it was. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Another life wasted. The oh, the RNG is not with us today. Fight on. The mob rallies to the underdog. We're just gonna kill him. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. So we're in a good spot. I got rid of the corpse too. Vestal's up front. Uh, Jester's spent. And we have both our healers. And I can use her as a support thing. So. We may make it out of this. I'd like to resist the stun once in my life. I think my chances are pretty low with. Yeah. I'm gonna take this turn. Oh, please, come on. That's why we took that turn. But, jeez Louise. Do I get to go first? Because I lost someone first. No, it's because they lost someone. I gotta start dumping heals. I'll well, use bandage on the back, too, so if he pulls me... This is no place for the weak. This leper is very angry. <laughs> uh This is actually tough. I'm gonna do this because I want him spending his turn stunning my Arbalest. Instead of like stunning someone else. I kinda wish I had the exotic stuff now, because I might have a better chance to resist some of these. Cause then I get this set up. And I want... That actually kind of sucks. 
Like, I want this heal. I think we lost this. I Like, we had a chance to win this, but I think we just lost. Facing the abyss. Oh, he's going first again. My god. We just have to keep him alive. The bandage being backline only does kind of suck. I don't think I can out DPS this heal. I don't think I can do enough damage to kill this. I need to hit this 50 50, which I'm not gonna. Ah, no. uh, that's it. I think I'm gonna quit out here, and then, uh. No, I guess we'll play it out. Like, I need to use the bathroom, but I wanna do one more. Like, I want this team to do well. I think it does okay, but, like, we're just getting pretty unlucky on some stuff, I have to say. Alright, I can't keep up with this. I think we're done. Alright, I'll be back. So we swapped out the healing trinket for uh, the snuff. That might be a little bit better, we'll see. But, otherwise, this team might need a man-at-arms, but I don't want to use a man-at-arms quite yet, so... Let's get one more. Like, I thought this team was okay, but I guess it just may not be bad. But then also, there's gonna be a lot of uh, advice friends after this video, I'm sure you'll be like, Actually, Shuffle, here are the 14,000 ways you misplayed. Like, oh, thanks. I'm looking forward to it. He said sarcastically. <laughs> it's tough. The pitfalls of online content. Thrills to the spilling of blood. All right, something very similar. We keep running into Chester's. I don't have a stun. The advantage is yours. Move resist, finisher. I have no healer. And I lose when people dumpster my bounty hunter. So let's try and dumpster their bounty hunter. This is actually scary because this, um, I'm going to try and save my turn for after the leper goes because the leper is going to chop the bounty hunter and he's going to try and finale him. Like if he high rolls a crit. Here's another finisher. If he high rolls a crit, then uh, he can just kill me instantly. Or almost instantly. Like, he has a very good chance to kill me. So we're going to... Who do we shoot with first? She has the damage. Like I said, I'm saving my flagellant turn for the emergency heal. So this way, if he pulls my musketeer, I can still do a... Uh, yeah. You chop bounty on it, right? Yeah. Alright, did not instantly freaking die. And so since he's marked... Um, let's see, 4 to 9 plus the bleed. So he's death stored if I, if I use this. And the bleed sticks, of course. It didn't?! What? It's a 10%! Oh, at least we still have this heal, but jeez. Oh, that's some some luck, finally. So do I Death Storm him? I'm going first. So I think I do. And then I can heal and just pop him with... Like, he's... I have two ways to kill him. If he tries to move up so I can't shoot him, then I can hit him with, uh, finish him. Or if he doesn't do that, then I can do something else. Because if he moves here, I just hit finish him, and then, uh... Yeah, okay. As 
my death door me. Terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. What's the chance on this? Ten. I kind of don't want to be on the back foot. I kind of don't. So he has to. He does have a finisher, but I'm not marked. So it. I. I could survive this. I think he has two finishers. Yeah. Nice. That's what we wanted. All right. We're in this. Our gamble paid off. So now he has to like dirk stab up to the front, and if he does, I'm gonna try. I can't pull the herbalist reliably. But I'm gonna start shooting. Exposed to a killing blow. And keep him alive. And then we're gonna use Reclaim after this, now that the healing buff is stacked up. And he... I may not. I think he's going first, so I may actually... I think he's he's done his job. So here... why... why? Why is everyone resisting my bleeds? That's so sad. Because this way, you know, I think you just dirt stab it. Oh yeah, that. More blood soaks the soil. So he still has a finale. Feeding the evil therein. Fight on. The mob rallies to the underdog. Let's see. Act now. I need to start killing. Who do I need to kill? Let's just move resist. So I only have like a 25. Think, think, think. High bleed resist. Um, I think we just start trying to kill this dude. And now the I do wish I had exsanguinate. Hold fast but that's okay. Or expire. He cannot hit me up front. So I do have a turn to think about stuff. This way, this way if he shoots me, I have a reclaim target. What would be kind of heads up is to shoot the body. Which he doesn't. But he gets a crit, so he got very <laughs> rewarded for the bad play. His reason you shoot the body is because I still have to uh, redeem, but then I don't get an effective redeem heal. Like, I only heal myself instead of someone else. But I guess he did do a little bit of damage, but see, if he crit that body, then I would be in a very bad spot. So I just, I think that was very not good as a play. <laughs> and I'm dazed, so he can... Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. He can mortal wound me, which gets through the death blow. I think he just lost. Maybe this had to be a man at arms. I don't know, like I needed some to protect the bounty hunter. And uh, or I could have used like maybe this could have been a, a houndmaster. So I could try and move him. I do take this turn. Three to six. The tumult waxes overwhelming. Alright, that's embarrassing. Alright, GG, dude. Just gonna surrender. That's it. Alright, I'm gonna upload this video. Y'all can laugh at me. That's fine. I'll just hide in shame. And I'll play something else tomorrow. Oh, you can't de rank. I guess that's cool. Just once you're somewhere, you're there. Alright, so I I thought this team was gonna be good. I think it won the first game, and then I think it lost like every game after that. Not bad. So let's do some some autopsy here.
Yeah, like I ran this person over. Actually, I think they quit. So what happened? I ran into three lepers. <laughs> I ran into three lepers and two jesters and two bounty hunters. Oh my goodness, that's what it was. Like this team couldn't really stand up to frontline damage. Like this team was made to hunt down the, the stress people and the pseudo stress team that it fought, it beat. But then all the heavy direct damage just did more damage than I could keep up with. And uh, the glaring weakness was Bounty Hunter was too easy to get focused. So when you focus the Bounty Hunter, this team kind of falls apart because I have no guards. So I think I needed a Man-at-Arms or a, a Houndmaster to, to keep him alive. Or maybe some tank trinkets. I, did I have damage? I think I had damage trinkets. Yeah. So this might not have been right, especially with that. I don't know. I don't know, but there there was some good... You know, I think the only good thing that I saw was that Caltrop sniped a kill because of the finisher. And I felt very good about that, but yeah, this team is missing stuff, so... I'm a little sad. Like, I've had, I've had teams that have failed before. Like, I had a... Let me show it. Mm, we lost some games somewhere, but like right here. This team failed. I ran this in a, some player matches. Like, I played some people in Discord. This team lost. And then I ran it in Circus, and it lost like three times with, you know, one alteration. So other than that, I haven't had a team do bad for a long time. So I'm a little sad. But I guess it's meant to be. I think that's it. We're going to play another team next time. I guess I could try, since I'm at a rank floor, I guess I could try the Plague Doctor. I don't think she's that good, but I'll play her. And enjoy the long video of me losing. I'm sure everyone's going to have a lot to say. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.